Angie Hatch, President Pro Tempore. Mr. President, the Senate already officially proceeded to the House pass funding legislation, so that's pending. But we did so with an understanding that no further votes will occur until the President and Senate Democrats have reached an agreement to resolve this. Let me say that again. We push the pause button until the President, from whom we will need a signature, and Senate Democrats, from whom we will need votes, reach an agreement. No procedural votes, no test votes, just a meaningful vote on a bipartisan agreement whenever that is reached. And it's my hope that it's reached sooner rather than later. The report card is quite clear. America's borders are in crisis. These facts I've stated are not partisan facts. They aren't, they aren't ideological. They're just facts, just facts. They don't describe the Republican Party's version of events or the president's version of events. They describe reality. So one would think that securing our homeland, controlling our borders, and protecting the American people would be bipartisan priorities. Uncontroversial, common sense, bipartisan priorities, a core duty of any nation's government. Republicans in the House and in the Senate believe the House's provision for $5 billion in border funding plus additional disaster funding was completely reasonable. I was glad to vote to advance that legislation yesterday. My colleagues and I are, prou are proud to stand with the American people on this subject for the safety of American families and the health and security of our communities. But this time, this time, Democrats have rejected that reasonable request. They've refused to meet President Trump halfway and provide even one-fifth, one-fifth of the resources for the border they were willing to provide just a few months ago. Democrats haven't rejected the President's request and invited this partial government shutdown because of some principled objection that they just discovered in the last few weeks. It's not some principled discovery they've just made in the last few weeks. They brought this about because they're under a lot of pressure. We all know this from their far left and feel compelled to disagree with the president on almost anything and certainly this. So that's where we are, but we don't need to be here for long. In order to get us out of this mess, a negotiated solution will need to check these boxes. It's really simple, Mr. President, really simple. It will need the support of 60 senators, which will obviously include a number of Democrats. It will need to pass the House, and it will need a presidential signature. That's how we make a law in this situation. 60 votes in the Senate, majority in the House, and President Trump's signature. That's what's needed. That's what will end this regrettable episode, reopen the lapsed portions of the federal government, and produce the investment in border security that our nation really needs.